welcome back to this course on Excel for Business Analytics by DICE. And in this lecture, I'm going to briefly talk about copying and moving cells and cell ranges uh, in Excel. Um, and the best way to do that is to actually show you guys an example. Um, let me move to the example sheet. So uh, when it comes to a single cell, uh, I mean, it's fairly easy to actually copy a single cell. Uh, not a selection of single cells, but you know, a single cell, you can actually just simply copy uh, that cell and just paste it by uh, you can actually copy it by pressing Control C and then pressing Control V. That's one way to do it. You can actually also select the cell uh, and then go to copy and then go to uh, then right click on the mouse button again and then just simply paste this uh, paste the cell uh, paste the cell um, over here like this. Um, what I really wanted, wanted to actually talk about was actually the range, uh, you know, copy pasting and the options that actually come with, uh, with, you know, uh, the range, um, the range, uh, you know, copy pasting. Uh, those options are available at cell level copy pasting as well, but, you know, uh, they're more useful when it comes to, you know, uh, cell uh, copy pasting, uh, sorry, range copy pasting. So let's say I want to actually copy this range from over here. Uh, I'm again going to use Control C, and once I paste it uh, in another, you know, uh, vicinity right next to it, uh, what I really want to talk about is this small window that actually appears with this paste option. If you click on this, it would actually show you a number of options uh, which you can use to either simply just paste what you copied. That's one choice, or you can actually just paste the formulas that uh, you know uh, that uh, of, of the cell range that you copied. So what that means it's actually going to put in the values uh, that copied but it's going to remove the formatting and everything but it's going to keep the formulas intact which is actually visible over here. Uh, let's see what other options are available and uh, what if you just want to keep the formula and the number formatting Okay, so the number formatting and the formula is actually going to stay, but the actual overall cell formatting and the textual formatting or the table formatting uh, style that you had chosen, that actually goes away. Uh, in addition to that, let's see, look at another few options as well. Uh, let's say, you know, if you want to keep the source uh, column width, you can, click, uh, you can actually uh, click over here uh, and exactly, you know, adjust exactly according, according to the source column uh, so we actually copied from over here and it actually keeps the identical source column width. So another nifty feature. Uh, you can also actually copy and just paste values. So what that does is that it actually just keeps the values and removes the formulas. So there are no formulas over here, you see. It's just the plain values that were copied from over here. All right, uh, what else? What else can we actually see? Uh, so it can actually also copy values and number formatting. So again, it's going to copy the number format and the values, but it's not going to uh, it's not going to copy the formulas. Uh, also, other paste option actually options actually include you know if you just want to copy the formatting, which is just the formatting. So if you want if you have a table style formatting and you want to only copy that in order to just fill it with some other information. Uh, voila, it's actually available over there. You can actually just copy the format. You can actually paste the link. I'm not going to talk about that right now. You can also paste this as a picture. So this is actually a picture uh, of the exact table that is on the left-hand side. And right now, it's a picture. It's not editable. Uh, this is something very useful if you are actually, you know, um, uh, compiling a report uh, where these tables have to go in probably, you know, into uh, some other software, probably uh, Microsoft Word or PowerPoint, it's actually a good idea to keep the quality of the uh, of the tables that you're actually copying intact. It's sometimes it's a good idea to actually just have them as a picture, uh, have them pasted as a picture in your, uh, you know, uh, uh, other uh, place, wherever you want to copy them. Uh, so this is a picture that you are looking at right now. And uh, in addition to that, let's see what was one of the last options I want to talk about. So now this is a linked picture option. So this is a picture, but it's actually a link as well. So if you click on this, 
it's going to uh let me actually move this a little further away because so this is a linked picture now so it is a picture but if you actually click on this uh if you actually click on this it should actually go back to the source which it is not right now I, let me see why not let's try that once again In fact, let's just try it a little farther away so that you know it's not visible. Uh, so we are actually away from the source. So linked linked picture. So it's a linked picture, and it should actually go back to its source. Yeah. So what this is what it's doing right now. So if you double click on this linked picture, you see it actually goes back to the source table that we copied it from. So this is actually a really cool feature that you can uh, actually you know uh, utilize. Uh, if you wanna, you know, uh, share these uh, with someone else, uh, or uh, in another Excel sheet, or in actually some sort of a dashboard uh, which only has pictures, uh, and you can actually link them to the real, uh, you know, uh, tables. So anyone who actually wants to look at the real thing, actually, you can just simply double click on it and come back to the actual table where this is actually coming from. So these are some of the, you know, features that are available when you are actually copying and pasting cells or cell ranges uh, in excel uh, and they come really in handy you know because you know sometimes you want one thing but you don't want the other thing that's coming with the table uh, and sometimes sometimes you actually want the whole thing uh, or the whole table along with the formatting along with the formulas available so you don't have to you know actually manually uh, do that or clean uh, the copy table up you can actually just simply select uh, whatever is available uh, in that drop down that I just showed you and you know make a make your life a lot easier as a data analyst. Uh, I hope this was actually helpful uh, to you uh, and uh, I hope to see you in the next lecture.